hey guys so in today's video i'm going to show you how to fix carplay not working on ios 18. so if you just update your iphone to ios 18 and you notice that your carplay is no longer working let me show you how to fix it so the first thing you can do is scroll down to your control center and you need to turn on your airplay mode and turn it off so this is going to do a quick network refresh so it's going to refresh your network settings just turn it on and turn it off Another thing you can do is head over to your settings. So let me go back and you need to select Bluetooth. Once you select Bluetooth, you need to forget your CarPlay device and you need to reconnect it. So just click on this information icon and click on forget this device. After that, forget the device and you need to reconnect it back. So you can also try that. Another thing you can do is to first restart your phone. So there might be some issues with the RAM of your phone and force restart will fix it. So note that this force restart won't delete or remove anything from your iPhone. So let me show you how it is done. You need to click on the volume up button once, volume down button once, and you need to long click on the power button till you see the app logo. So you need to be very fast. Volume up, volume down, long click on the power button till you see the app logo. And once you see the app logo, you can now leave it and your phone is going to restart. And once your phone restarts, this can also fix the issue of your CarPlay not working. So let's wait. So let me pause this video for my phone to finish turning on. So now it is now completed. So this can also fix the issue of your CarPlay not working. Another thing you can do is head over to your settings and you need to scroll down and click on accessibility. Once you click on it, scroll down and look for vocal shortcuts. So if your vocal shortcut is enabled, this can also make your CarPlay not work. So you need to disable it so just turn off vocal shortcuts and this can also fix the issue or just delete all the shortcuts you've created so it's going to automatically turn it off another thing is check if there's any new software updates so if you go back to your settings click on general and you need to click on software updates so if there's any new update update your iphone to it and it can also fix the issue so try all these things i mentioned in this in today's video and i'm very sure one of them will work for you so if you found this video helpful, smash the like button and subscribe.